Hello traders and investors in India and users of the strike.money platform. My name is Julius de Kempenaar and I am the creator of Relative Rotation Graphs. And in this video I'm going to talk you quickly through what's happening or and what has been happening in the rotation of Indian sectors and zooming in on a few of them. So if we start off with the weekly RRJ that you see here, um, and we're using the Nifty 500 as the benchmark, then you can see how pharma and healthcare are shooting off into the leading quadrant. And those are the sectors that we, ident we identified uh, two weeks ago as being potentially interesting. And at that time, they were right here. They were inside improving and about to move into leading. So they're continuing that move, and that's a positive sign. And it looks as if they've got a little bit more to go. Other sectors that are now in, inside and into the leading quadrant are FMCG, fast moving consumer goods, and the IT sector in India. And the IT sector in India also has the highest RS momentum reading. So that's a pretty nice move. Look at how long that tail is, how long the segments between the nodes are. So the IT sector is actually on a good streak in India right now. If we go around the RRG, then we'll see that consumer durables has just dropped out of leading into weakening. It's still at a decent um, uh, RS ratio reading, so not too much trouble there. We see automobiles moving to the left and we see realty moving to the left. So these are now losing relative strength, RS ratio, so the relative strength is weakening, and they are at a negative RS momentum. These two here, so that's Nifty PSC and Nifty CPSC, they are curling back up inside the weakening quadrant. And we know when that happens that it is a good sign because what that means is that those two sectors have um, turned around from a relative downtrend to a relative uptrend. That's when they moved into the leading quadrant and they now uh, have rotated out of leading into weakening. And that is the situation that happens. So they're moving out and then they're dropping into the weakening quadrant and they start to move back up. What that means is that they are about to start a new up lag in an already established uh, relative uptrend. So that's a good sign for those two sectors. These are, uh, again, these are the, the weak, this is the weekly RRG. So um, this is, you know, a decent amount of trend, a decent trend duration, I would say. If you look on the other side, then um, there's quite a bit going on towards and into the lagging quadrant. So you've got Metal and PSU Bank uh, are deep inside the lagging quadrant. So um, they're expected to be underperforming. And you can see how private banks and banks and financial services are basically showing a opposite rotation of what CPSC and PSE have been doing. Those sectors were inside the improving quadrant and they have rolled over without hitting the leading quadrant. And that's usually a pretty negative sign. That's that, what that means is that they are uh, starting a new down lag in an already established relative downtrend. So um, the image here, if you ask me, is pretty um, sp split, very clear split right now. So uh, on the positive side, we have IT, we have FMCG, we have pharma and healthcare. We've got oil and gas, which is now at the position where pharma and nifty were a couple of weeks ago. You can see how infrastructure starting to pick up, energy starting to pick up a little bit. PSC and CPSC we already talked about. So those are the sectors that are on what we call a positive RRG heading, which is when, when um, the tail is rising on both scales. So uh, RS momentum is improving and RS ratio is improving. That gives us that heading between zero and 90 degrees, if you would look at a compass. And then on the negative side, on the negative rotations, is um, uh, what we already saw, PSU and metals, um, realty, automobiles, and then I have to zoom in here to see private bank, nifty bank, and financial services. So this entire financial cluster of sectors um, is now on a relative downtrend versus the nifty 500. If we take this, if we zoom in from this weekly RRG onto a daily RRG, 
it uh, just gives us a little bit more granularity in the rotations, then we can see how, and that's interesting, how healthcare and pharma, as well as oil and gas, and remember we had identified those tails as being positive on that weekly RRG, they have rotated from improving to leading first, and then they rotated out of leading into weakening, and they have just started to back up again. So oil and gas, healthcare, and pharma, those three sectors uh, seem to be picking up strength again, picking up relative strength versus the Nifty 500 index. Um, and that could actually, you know, go on for at least a couple of weeks because we're talking about the weekly here. So oil and gas is just starting and you got pharma and healthcare, which, is, which have just arrived into the leading quadrant. And what the, the daily tells you that this was the first move, the first period of strength moving over. And they have now, let me scroll that back so you can nicely see it. So here is pharma and healthcare and oil and gas was already, when did that go? So here is oil and gas. So oil and gas dropping in and then you can see how Nifty and Pharma was continuing a, a little while longer, picking up strength on the RS ratio scale. They're now also inside the weakening quadrant and they have now started to pick up strength again. So oil and gas, healthcare and pharma are picking up and they seem to be starting a new up lag in an already established relative uptrend on the daily chart, which is confirming the longer term picture that we saw on that weekly RRG. Now, if we quickly go to the individual charts, because in any case, I would advise anybody to not just trade off of the RRG, but always bring up the price chart because you trade price and make up your mind whether it's really worth your time and money to invest in such a sector. So if we look at the uh, healthcare sector, then you can see that this chart obviously looks very nice, but the RRG uses the, um, the relative strength, the ratio, and what you see here is this little blip that is the weakness, that is that rotation out of leading going into weakening, and it's now picking up again. So we're starting up, we're picking up a new up lag in an already established relative uptrend. And if we do the same for the pharma sector, you can see a similar picture. Obviously that chart is super strong, but you can see how the relative strength line went through a little bit of a correction and is now picking up again. And then finally, we see the oil and gas sector, and you can see how this has just broken above horizontal resistance, and that is continuing. Looks as if this recent high is now be taken out, and you can see how the, the small setback in relative strength that started uh, in February has come to an end, and we're now picking up again, and we're starting a new up lag in this essentially already relative uptrend. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please use RRG on the strike.money.platform. Um, if you've got any questions, send them into the platform. They'll send it to me and we'll talk about, uh, talk about it in one of our uh, new videos. Have a great weekend and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in two weeks time, same time, same place.